We are in for a treat in the night sky on Sunday night here in the Midlands. A total lunar eclipse. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith has more on whether or not the weather will cooperate. It has been almost four years since the last total lunar eclipse along the east coast. This Sunday night, the moon is expected to pass into the Earth's shadow. Liz Klemek, the planetary manager from the South Carolina State Museum, says this will be a sight to see. And it turns this really cool, um, otherworldly looking reddish, orangish color. And so it just almost looks like Mars is hanging out in the sky or something like that. So it's just something that's really, really cool to see that you don't see every day. Lunar eclipses are also known as the blood moon because of their signature red color. This happens because the Earth's shadow is split into two parts, the penumbra and umbra. And our atmosphere is really good at scattering out the blue light and letting the redder parts of the spectrum pass through. So colors like red and orange and whatnot. And so that light uh, makes it past the edges of the Earth and then gets bent a little bit, hits the moon and bounces back at us. The event begins at 9.32 p.m., but the real fun begins around 10.30 as the moon begins to pass into the umbra. It will get darker and begin to turn red before the total eclipse begins right around 11.30 p.m. The total eclipse will last more than an hour, so there is plenty of time to view it. Let's talk about the weather for that night. Right now, the Skywatch forecast is calling for partly cloudy conditions. Thankfully, this is a long duration event, so you should be able to view it here in the Midlands. In Columbia, meteorologist Corey Smith, News 19 WLTX. The museum tells Corey that you don't need special glasses to see the lunar eclipse. The State Museum is having an event Sunday night allowing you to watch the eclipse through their telescopes. We have a link to ticket information on our website. Just go to WLTX.com and look for this story.